Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 13 is finally here bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS. It is really, really awesome. But in this video, we won't focus on the features. We will focus on how to improve the battery life of your iOS 13 device. So in this video, I will show you guys 25 tips and tricks that will help you get a better battery life on your iOS 13 device. Starting off with Wi-Fi Assist. So you go to your settings, you go to Settler and scroll down and you will find right here Wi-Fi Assist. Make sure you enable that. Now what this does is that when you have a weak connectivity to your Wi-Fi network, it will automatically switch to the cellular data. So if you leave this off, it will constantly try to stay connected to a weak Wi-Fi connection and that will of course consume a ton of battery. You don't want that to happen, so make sure you go ahead and enable Wi-Fi I assist. On the widgets panel, you might have Siri app suggestions enabled. That consumes a ton of battery. Siri is always keeping this widget updated with the latest like apps that you use frequently. And of course, that consumes battery. It's constantly tracking you the apps that you use and putting them here for you, of course, to be able to launch them faster. But that will kill the battery of your iPhone. So make sure you turn off this widget. Not just the Siri app suggestions, other widgets will of course consume battery as well. So only keep here the ones that you really, really need, that you really use. Go ahead and remove the others because they will kill the battery of your iPhone. One of the biggest battery drainers of the iPhone is of course location services. I don't really think someone needs to have it on all the time. So go to settings, go to privacy, go to location services, and here you can go ahead and switch that off. If you don't want to do that, if you need it for an app to be on all the time, then you can go ahead and basically just choose like individual apps that you don't need it for and make sure you turn that off so they don't track your location and consume a lot of battery. So make sure you go ahead and edit this and just keep it on for the apps that you really, really need it to be on. Under the same section here on the settings app under privacy, you can also find motion and fitness. Now, if you don't need fitness tracking, you don't need your iPhone to track your fitness, go ahead and disable this because it's tracking you all the time, your activity, and that of course consumes a lot of battery. Another setting that can be found on location services, if you go right here and scroll down, you will find system services and here you will have some system services that will use your location and they of course consume battery as well like for example location based ads you can go ahead and disable that right away or like different you can see different services here that you don't need them to use your location you can go ahead and just disable their location directly from here the next tip has to do with Siri, so go to settings, go to the Siri and search section, and here we'll find listen for Hey Siri. Now, if you have that turned on, make sure to turn that off. Now, Siri is constantly listening to you, basically just trying to hear that Hey Siri to activate, but that of course will consume a lot of battery. I know that's a great feature to have. You basically don't need to use your hands like to turn on Siri using the power button and all that, but that will consume a lot of battery. So if battery is more important than that feature, then make sure you go ahead and turn it off. Another setting you need to change is found under the accessibility settings. So go to accessibility, go to motion, and here we'll find reduce motion. Make sure you turn that on. So what this does is that it will basically go ahead and reduce all the cool animations of iOS, and that will help you get a better battery life and also better performance as if you have like an older iPhone, it will make it perform faster by reducing all those animations. The next one is really, really important. Go to settings, go to general, and right here we'll find background app refresh. So what you need to do here, you can go ahead and go to background app refresh right there. And of course, always keep it only on Wi-Fi because if you keep it also on cellular, that really, really consumes a lot of battery using the cellular data. But you can also turn it completely off, of course, if you don't need to use it. Now, if you need to have it on, you can go back here and you will have a list of all of your apps. Now, you might need it to be on for some apps. You don't need it to be on for all the apps so make sure you just go ahead and turn it off 
for any apps that you think you don't need background app refresh to be enabled just make sure you turn off these switches next is auto updates and auto downloads so make sure you go to settings go to itunes and app store and here we'll find automatic downloads so you will have automatic downloads for your music your apps your books audiobooks as well as the apps updates so what this does is that basically once you have an update for an app it will go ahead and just automatically update that app now it's not that that will consume a ton of battery but if you have like low battery on your iphone and it will update the apps at that time of course that will make it even worse so just go ahead turn this off and you can go ahead and update your apps manually when you have a ton of battery on your device next are notifications so go to settings go to the notification settings and you will see right here a list of all the apps that you have installed as you can see right here i have notifications of for a ton of apps because i don't need that app to send me a notification so basically what that will do it will send you a, new, a useless notification which you don't need and of course consume the battery of your iphone so just go ahead go to the app from which you don't need to have notifications and just basically turn that off and you're good to go the next tip for this video is found under the settings app under the photo settings go ahead and turn off right there icloud photos now what this does is that it will automatically upload your pictures to your iCloud now of course that's a good thing because you will have them all on your iCloud account but if you don't have a lot of battery on your iPhone it will do that and it will consume even more battery of your iPhone so you can only enable that when you have like a ton of battery you're good to go you don't need to worry about the percentage of your battery and then you can go ahead and do that otherwise keep that setting off vibration on your iPhone will consume a ton of battery so make sure you go to your settings go to sounds and haptics and turn it off of course you can leave it on for when your device is on silent but when your device is on ring you don't really need to have vibration on so go ahead and turn that off directly from there that way you will preserve a lot of battery on your iphone Another really important settings is push notifications. So go ahead, go to settings, go to passwords and account, and right here you will find fetch new data. Go ahead and basically turn that into manually, or you can choose every 15 or 30 minutes or even hourly. So basically, if you keep that automatic, it will constantly try to get like notifications, always updating, and that of course will consume battery. So just make sure you turn that maybe into like 15 or 30 minutes. That's the best. That's what I suggest. You can also do that for like individual accounts right here. But of course, you will have the option here to do it for all of them. Next is the Bluetooth. I see a lot of people keep their Bluetooth on even though they don't need to use it so go ahead go to settings go to bluetooth and make sure to turn that off if you don't need it like you don't have like an apple watch or you don't have a device that's connected to your bluetooth constantly go ahead and disable that you don't need that to be on all the time i see a lot of people doing this mistake keeping like bluetooth or location services and all that stuff always on on their device and then they wonder why the, the battery is not last, lasting longer go ahead and turn off the bluetooth if you don't need it and the same thing goes of course for cellular data as well if you're not using your cellular data make sure to turn that off now cellular data will consume a ton of battery and of course data as well because if you just keep it on it will just your iphone like send notifications and do all that stuff and just consume data without any reason but if you don't need it go ahead go to settings go to cellular data right here and make sure to turn that off the same as well goes for airdrop now if you're not using airdrop probably you're not using it all the time go ahead and turn that off go to settings go to airdrop and make sure you have receiving off right there and of course you can do the same thing from the control center as well i see a lot of people keep auto brightness turned off on their iphone and just basically manually adjust the brightness of their devices i don't know why you would do that because auto brightness really works well it will basically dim the iphone when it needs to and brighten up when it needs to so go to settings go to accessibility and go to display and text size and make sure you turn auto brightness on so when you're on a dark environment it will of course dim the screen of your iphone that will not only help your eyes that will also help the battery of your iphone 
And the big no-no is using dynamic backgrounds on your device. So you go ahead and set a dynamic background that will only consume a ton of battery on your iPhone. As you can see, the wallpaper there is constantly moving. And of course, that will consume a ton of battery. And the dynamic backgrounds are not that good either. So you can see right here, we still have the old ones and a few tweaked new ones right here, but they will consume a lot of battery. So I don't suggest you use them. Another thing I suggest you do even though I don't do it myself, but I should go ahead, go to settings, go to display and brightness, go to auto lock and make sure you turn that on. So basically you leave your iPhone somewhere, the screen will stay awake and of course consume a ton of battery and that's bad for security as well. So make sure you go ahead and turn on auto lock on your device so you have it better protected because it will be locked in like a minute or 30 seconds and of course the screen won't stay awake and consume your battery. Another setting that you should turn off is found under privacy. So go there, scroll down, go to analytics and here you will find share iPhone and watch analytics. Make sure you turn that off because that will also consume battery in the background. Next up, let's talk about apps. Now, of course, you might have a ton of apps on your device and some of them might be battery drainers. So go to settings, go to battery and right here we'll find a list of all of your apps. Scroll down here, you will find a list of all the apps and of course the apps that you use the most will be on the top of the list, but there you might see here any apps that you use rarely, but they're consuming a ton of battery. So make sure you go ahead and delete those apps. You probably will be able to find an alternative to that app on the app store. So don't keep apps that consume a ton of battery. Another thing I know a ton of people do is close all the apps from the background. So you go to your app switcher, you close everything off. Don't do that. You're basically just forcing those apps to reload from the beginning every time you open them. Keep your apps, the apps probably that you use the most, like you use them during the day, keep them in the background. Don't close them. That won't help, won't help your battery. That will make it just worse. Another setting you should change is found under the display and brightness setting. So you go right there, you will find here rise to wake. Make sure to turn that off. That is of course always tracking your movement. Just seeing when you pick up your phone to wake up the screen, that will of course consume a lot of battery. So you don't really need that enabled. Go ahead and disable it by going to settings, display and brightness and turn it off from here. A new setting on iOS 13 is found under the settings app. So you go to accessibility right here, we'll find voice control. Now this is a really cool feature. It allows you to control your iPhone using your voice. But of course that consumes a ton of battery. So when you enable it, you will notice that mic right there. It's constantly basically just listening for your voice to control your device. Go ahead and turn that off because that's a huge battery drainer. And last but not least, use low power mode. Whenever you have like low battery on your iPhone or you don't need your iPhone to perform at its best, go ahead and turn on low power mode. This really, really works. Low power mode really will save a ton of battery on your iPhone. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 25 tips and tricks that will help you get better battery life on your iPhone on iOS 13. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. I have a ton of iOS 13 videos planned coming up very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe to not miss any of them. That's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.